What's up, YouTube? This is Dave Titan up point seven. This is another video to do with Nintendo Switch, NPD, Xbox One, and PS4 Slayer. Move out the way, bitch. It's the Switch. <laughs> and another video from Dave. And yeah, uh, pretty much, man, fucking Switch is killing it, <laughs> is it not? <laughs> um, before I get into my video, I do want to say this. Hey guys, I like to play with all you guys, like joke around, and I do exaggerate at times in my videos. And lately, you know, when it comes to the videos I've been doing, um, I'm saying nothing but the truth. It's fucking Switch is dominating. I, I mean, I can't help it. You know. When Nintendo had the Wii U and it was doing bad, Dave was the biz biggest critic. One of the biggest critics. I'm not going to say I was the biggest critic, but I was one of the biggest biggest critics in the crumb side. You know, um, when, when consoles do bad, I call them out, you know. But if you say that I didn't with the fucking, with Nintendo, then you're full of shit. Because I was a big critic when it came to the Wii U. Sorry, I had a burp before. <laughs> Uh, I just got off work, um, but, you know, everybody's sitting here saying, oh, Dave's a Nintendo fanboy now, and this and that. I have always liked Nintendo, but I am not a Nintendo fanboy, because I support PlayStation when they're doing good, you know. Uh, I support fucking Microsoft when they're doing good, and the same thing with Nintendo. But unfortunately, right now, Fucking, the Nintendo Switch is wiping the fucking floor with the Xbox One, for damn sure, and the PS4. Um, well, if you didn't know, <laughs> and I want to say this too, you know, I had a good friend of mine, you know, and now you know who you are, I'm not going to call you out or nothing like that, or I don't do that shit with friends. Um, you know, we had gotten a little gaming back and forth, and it went on for a, a, a good bit. <laughs> I'll say that. It went on for a good, good, good bit. And I didn't think of it like anything bad, you know, and I did some things maybe I shouldn't have. You know, I had Dathip call in. I deleted the live stream and everything. Not because, you know, I, I went and I didn't tell Dathip. He's probably wondering why that got deleted, because I do do a new thing with my live streams. I do callers and stuff like that. We I'm, When I'm game. I'm streaming some games. I have a live caller, and we talk about gaming stuff that's going on. And I deleted that live stream because one of my friends, uh, hopefully still my friend, uh, took it wrong. You know, it wasn't, I didn't mean it like that. It wasn't nothing of attack or nothing like that. But, you know, when you get into gaming conversations, it's not like, you know, we were sitting there, you know, going on about other stuff. I could see getting mad about that, but over gaming, come on, man, you know. But if I did offend you, you know who you are, I am sorry. You know, um, you, you made it to where I can't talk to you. You deleted my uh, the Google Hangouts. I couldn't even say nothing. I was at work when I got your one message. I couldn't even answer it because you deleted me. So you know who you are. I'm sorry. You know, just playing around. That's all it is. You know, it's just gaming. You know, just, you know, it's just, just video games, guys. <laughs> And that's for everybody, I'm saying. Like, you know, when we go back and forth, that's why I stopped that stuff a long time ago. And that's why I never really wanted to do videos like this. Because when you do videos like this, it creates stuff like that, you know. You'll have the gaming conversations that go on. One time with Furious Francis, I talked to that motherfucker in messages through the whole week of Christmas. <laughs> and then I said, fuck it, let's get into discussion on Skype. He says, oh, my family's here. I said, you've been talking to me in messages, in, in a YouTube message for about a fucking week here during Christmas break. What are you talking about? You know, like, the, like you know what I'm saying? Like around Christmas time, you know, around that period of Christmas week. Um, but yeah, come on, guys. It's just, it's just, it's just gaming. <laughs> but, in reality, yes, Dave does exaggerate sometimes, likes to get the blood pumping in some people. But, in reality, when it comes down to it, the Nintendo Switch is fucking dominating. And that's just facts. <laughs> just like Connor said, and that's just facts. I like how he says that. But, guys, the Nintendo Switch has been, uh, you know, uh, top NPDs, uh... I think it's been, hold on, let's, let's look back on this whole thing that it said. It's for 
for uh, September, NPD's Nintendo Switch dominates top selling console. N2 has been, uh, out of the seven months it's been out, it's been the top, it, it, out of the seven months it's been out, five of those months, it has won the NPDs, with the past three months in a row winning the NPDs. Sony, you're in trouble. <laughs> you got some competition, because it sure as hell ain't Microsoft, but it's fucking Nintendo with the Switch. And, uh, I don't know what you gotta do, uh, Microsoft, uh, I, because it, it, I don't know what you guys gotta do, but it sure as hell ain't Master Chief, and it sure as hell ain't fucking Gears of War or Forza. That ain't the answer. <laughs> uh, and, you know, you know, there's always something that comes along. You know, if you look at retail, uh, you had Kmart, and then there's Walmart. You know, Walmart dominated. Now, Walmart's been in the game on top for a while, but now you got fucking Amazon just killing it with online. You know, pretty much taking over anything. And for years, Walmart was the dominator. And then it was Kmart, and the list goes on. Kmart was before that, and I got knocked out Walmart. And pretty much now, Amazon is fucking knocking out Walmart. There is always something that comes along and takes that spot. Yes, Sony has this gigantic league. Uh, a leap of the consoles, but, you know, technically, if you look at, like, how the Switch, you know, is right now, and it's a new console, and you look at their new stuff that they got out, the PS4 Pro, and, and I, I hate to say it, the Xbox One X, when that comes out, it ain't gonna stand up to the Switch. The Switch has on the go. Do they have on the go? No. <laughs> on the go is what people want. They don't want to sit at their house all the time. And play these home console experiences in their house all the time. They may have a job to go to and on break. They may want to fucking play some fucking console experiences. And you can't do that. You can't bring your fucking Xbox to work. And set it up like outside. or You can if you find a fucking outlet to plug it in. But all in all, you know, <laughs> when it comes to the Switch, it's just right there. You can play it wherever you want. It's fucking... It's on the go. That's the number one feature people want. And fucking Sony don't have that with the PS4 vanilla, PS4 Pro. Microsoft don't have that with the OG Xbox or the soon-to-be Xbox One X. You know, they don't have on-the-go features. They don't have HD Rumble. This thing is... And they don't fucking have Mario Odyssey. The Probably going to be Game of the Year coming out this Friday. What exclusives does Sony have coming out this holiday season? Hold on, I'll wait. I'll wait. Somebody in the comment section, tell me, tell me, please. Because that Gran Turismo came out, that thing's a fucking flop. That's the only thing I see that they got that's coming out for the holiday. Or that came out for the holiday. <laughs> and then, and then you know, you got Xbox with a fucking Cuphead, which, you know, is fairly, fairly decent. Sorry, my dogs are fucking tearing boxes up. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you got Cuphead that, from what I see, it's fairly decent, but, you know, it's like you guys say, that's an indie, that's an indie, and you don't like Nintendo getting indie, so I guess that don't count for Microsoft, right? It's not a big game, but I'll tell you what fucking is a big game, Mario fucking Odyssey. This game looks fucking awesome. It is the Nathan Drake killer. It is the Halo killer fucking Mario Odyssey. It's going to be game of the year, probably game of the generation. I, I, like I thought, and like Resurrection said tonight, it's like fucking Mario, uh, like the Mario 64 all over again, but 10 times fucking better. It's kind of like how Shadow of Mordor was, and then they came out with this Shadow of War that just, you know, s improves on so much, and just makes the game just so fucking badass, you know? <laughs> uh, Mario Odyssey is gonna be the shit. I can't wait to play it, uh, this Friday. It's gonna be awesome. Anybody has a Switch, get this fucking game. It's gonna be fucking... It's gonna be the fucking game of the year. <laughs> uh, right now, technically, my game of the year that I am enjoying is Shadow of War. Uh, I haven't beat it yet, but I can see it being my game of the year, but fucking with Mario Odyssey, what I see in that, that's gonna be my game of the year. No questions asked. Shadow of War's gonna have to take the second spot. <laughs> I mean, do you see this? Do you, you see the fucking T-Rex in fucking Mario and everything that's going on in the hat? I mean, the fucking game is awesome. He's all over the world. I mean, Mario's fucking branching out. Mario is just fucking awesome. <laughs> but guys, fucking Nintendo does it again. Three months in a row. Five months out of the seven months they've been out of the Switch, they have got the MPDs. Microsoft, 
Phil Spencer, take some fucking notes. Uh, Sony, you're going to have to start taking some fucking notes because, you know, you're starting to fumble now. The ball is fumbling. <laughs> and uh, fucking Nintendo's got it. All right, guys, that's my uh, video right now. Uh, look more forward in the future. Sorry, I haven't had a little video. I've been on a little roll and took a little break. You know, work is there. have to work. Sorry, guys. I have been in collecting, uh, been in actually, too. You know, it took me away from my gaming. And even fucking my precious Nintendo Switch. Yes, took me away from the Switch. I've been collecting pops, and I am going crazy with those things. I love them. Uh, what got me into them? I was at GameStop, and I saw a Norman Bates pop, and I just, it went from there. <laughs> it just went from there. Now my brother's collecting them. He had some, technically, but, you know, now he saw I'm collecting them. He's collecting them. My nephew's collecting them. Uh, my other nephew's collecting them. I think my other nephew collects them, too. I know the, I know my one nephew don't. He's in the car. He's in, like, Game of Thrones cards and stuff, which I played the other night, and that is fucking cool. He was teaching me how to play the Game of Thrones uh Game of Thrones card games, kind of like Magic the Gathering. I never played a game like that. I never even really played Pokemon. Back in the day, I had some Pokemon cards, but never played the game. That is the first card card game I played. Like not like cards, but like a card game, like uh, like Dungeons and Dragons. You know, something like that. You know, not 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 Dungeons and Dragons, but you know what I'm talking about. Like Magic the Gathering, uh, Pokemon. But this is this is very complex. I do agree with my with my nephew. It's like very. It's, it takes. It, there's different stages of the game. It's really cool. And you get that, I guess it costs money, too. Just like these pops, man. These pops have cut into my gaming money, man. <laughs> That's why Dave's only getting Mario. I'll be getting some other ones out the way till probably Black Friday for some more. But I got Shadow of War. I got Destiny 2. I got Splatoon 2. I got ARMS. Don't even let me go on with all the Nintendo shit that we got. And coming. <laughs> Guys, Nintendo Switch is it right now. On the go is what people want. Not just fucking sitting in your house all the time and just, you know, have it all set up. But you know, They want to take it on the go. They want to play anywhere, you know, anywhere, not just in one area. <laughs> you know, you, you, you just can't play. You know, the average person just can't get on a plane and play their fucking Switch. I mean, not the Switch, but the uh, PS4 just, you know, on the plane. Unless you're a fucking rock star, unless you're like Axl Rose or fucking... Uh, some rapper like Lil Wayne, maybe you could do it then, but, you know, with the Switch, you could be anybody playing it on that fucking plane, you know what I'm saying, sit in your, sit in your, sit in your fucking plane seat, take off, you know, you got lift off, fucking sitting there, just enjoying it, and what better to enjoy than a console experience in your hand like the Nintendo Switch, nobody does it better than Nintendo, guys, I'm telling you, 30 is the new 60. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, leave your comments in the comment section. Switch it or ditch it, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, later, guys.